what do you, what do you think that's about, great. What do you think about the explanation? Yeah, it just, no, no bleep. It just can't happen. But you're the guy doing it. Yeah. You know, so it's not like you know, you tell your kids, listen, you know, Billy, that just can't happen. You gotta blah, blah, that that behavior is unacceptable, right? If you're a cologne, if you're a cruise cart, and Jacoby, whatever it is, right? He's the guy doing it, and this is the problem that that's accepted. Steve Kerr is going to do nothing about it. The war is going to do nothing about it. I'm sure the NBA is, you know, pulling their hair out uh, about him every single time he takes the court. What's this clown going to do next? But that's not an acceptable response to it. First off, he blew off the media after the game because that's the, you know, the new wave of athletes today. I'm not going to talk to the media. Let them do their jobs. I'm going to save all my comments for my own podcast. All right, all well and good. But he doesn't take ownership. He doesn't apologize. He doesn't acknowledge that it could have cost his team a significant game trying to, you know, get in to that final a playing spot. And he just blows it off because he doesn't take it seriously. He doesn't give a rat's ass what anybody thinks about him. And while there's times I appreciate that type of mentality, go be you. When being you is detrimental to your team's overall success yeah. or attempts to be successful, you are the problem. He went on to say in that podcast, because I heard you know, the highlights of it, you know, that that kind of behavior needs to be the exception, not the norm. Well, guess what, clown? It's the norm. It's not the exception. So I'm done with Draymond Green. It's, a, it's, it's such wasted breath talking about a guy that had he kept his head on straight and maybe gotten the therapeutic help he clearly needs or the mental health help he clearly needs, you're talking about a potential Hall of Famer. Yeah. One of the great defensive players in the game in his era. But that's not what I think of when I think of Draymond Green. I also don't even think about the championships when you bring up the name Draymond Green. I think about a guy who thinks he's the most important human being on the planet. The other nine planets revolve around him. The sun revolves around him. The moon revolves around him. And I'm just going to be me. Because the Warriors have allowed it. This is where, I know there's a dumb report out there from a guy desperate for clicks that people are now questioning Steph Curry's leadership. It's pretty stupid. That's stupid. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's but fine. you can question Steve Curry's leadership mm -hmm. as the head coach because he permits it. Yeah, listen, I, listen, the other night you saw Steph on Curry kind of whelp up in tears, right? Because he's realizing with the regression of Clay tears? Thompson. He was, he was tears? pissed. He was pissed. No, it's frustration because, listen, he was upset, he's watching the regression of Clay Thompson. He can no longer control Draymond Green. If you go to that clip, Curry's tapping Dre like cool off. And for the fact that, listen, this man has 19 career uh, in season, in season uh, ejections, right? That's a lot from a ball player standpoint. The fact that you're not afraid at that point to be injected, like usually if you, he's been injected four times in one season. The fact that it's something internally doesn't say, hey, man, I need to chill out. That means yourself. Look, I think Dre McGrin's bipolar. And I think when the voices in, head, in his head start talking, he can't turn he them off. Goes. And you, I think that's what think it is. His, uh, uh, you think it's beyond repair? Do you think his legacy is already will be defined I think by the, these actions? I think it depends not. who you ask. You know, there's some guys out there, you know, like we all love basketball, depending on who you root for and kind of where you come from and how you view these antics. I'm sure there are people out there that have no problem with it, find it cute, think, oh, that's who Draymond is. Yeah. And, you know, then start, they'll make comparisons to – for lack of a better name, like a Dennis Rodman. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but this guy is now, he's a distraction. By the way, they're not the number one seed. Nope. Where, oh, it's cute, it's Draymond. Yeah, and they're winning games. This is a team that's a game away from not being in the postseason. And I know they won that game against the Orlando Magic, and he's not being suspended for it. Because God forbid, you know, you make him sit out again and really teach him a lesson. God forbid Steve Kerr actually does something as the head coach to reel this thing in. But he's they're barely in the playoffs right now. I think that's the difference from years prior when he was doing this and getting ejected was they were the number one team. They were blowing teams out, and it was cute to what right. you said earlier. But now it's different because they're just nibbling to get into the playoffs. One, one of my problems about what he just said was it didn't sound like he was taking accountability for Correct. his actions or Correct. saying what he would do differently. It sounds like if you said, hey, Draymond, what would you do differently? He'd be like, oh, I would turn my shoulders a little bit this way. You and know what I mean? That's, it, that's literally right. what he said. Yeah. He didn't say, like, I can't do that to my team. No. I can't treat the refs like that. I can't let my emotions take over. He would just say, oh, I, I should have turned and a little think about bit this. this way before I said You know, it. pro sports is uh, right with, you know, curse words, bad words, offensive words, right? Sure. That's, but that's, it's, it's fine in the course of competing against it's other bad. men, right? Yeah. For the NBA, for the official who spoke after the game to the pool reporter to come out and say, and this is a quote, 
egregious profanity. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just not like an F you or MF this. Egregious profanity. There's levels. There's and magical words. Yeah, like, exactly. There's magical words. Yeah. In the NBA. yeah. That's yeah. not Kelly Oubre calling everybody a bitch. Right. All right. <laughs> that's that times a hundred. Yeah. And he couldn't stop. And that's why Steph Curry's pissed. We're four minutes into a game. Dude, you made your point. That we need. We got but a you... technical foul. I need you on the court. We're not a very good basketball team Correct. right now. And you just decided, because this is what you do, to stop, not stop running your mouth and get yourself kicked out because it's always about you. Mm -hmm. What about the other 11 guys who give a rat's ass and want to be in the postseason? But to your point, Craig, refs get cussed out every night. Yeah. This, but yes. they, they've built a callus against the assault. So he had to cuss so bad. He must have been talking about his mama, his grandmama, what he would do to his mama and grandmama. Something. What the mother effers on top of that. So, right. I mean, that's hostile talk. Yeah, yeah you egregious can, and you can profanity. See, you can see what he said. If you if you're a, a, talk a, about it, Vic, if you're a mouth reader <laughs> on there when he said it, uh, it was it was egregious. What was yeah. the first letter? It started with a P. Yeah, it did. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what it is. Pancakes. <laughs> yep, pancakes. Yep, yep. Uh, and it wasn't penis elbow. Pancakes. <laughs> moving on to some other elbow. NBA <laughs> action. Guys, huge win for the Knicks last night. Although they didn't play. That's right. The Bucks That's lost. Right. That's See, right. The Knicks are just right there. That's right. One game and a half behind oh. the Bucks in the two seed. But, Craig, looking at this, mm -hmm. if you're the Knicks, do you even want the two seed? Yes. Because that means you're going to end up playing the Heat the Sixers. I want the Heat I in want the, the first Sixers. round. I want all that Jimmy Butler smoke because mm. they knocked me out last year. Mm. And they stink. And I am not afraid of the Miami Heat and Spolster and Pat Riley coming into town. Matter of fact, I demand that yeah. we get the Miami Heat. I'm done with Cleveland. They're beneath me. And we're, we live rent-free in their heads anyway. And they don't have the goods to beat me. I want the Heat so badly because I can't lose. That's a sweep is what that is I, in the first round. I Remember, disagree. this okay. stage yeah, of the I game. I completely disagree. I think we win. I think we oh, win. Oh, are you afraid of the Heat? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that part. S Stay on the porch. I'm really surprised you didn't pick Philadelphia because nobody knows what type of condition Embiid's knee is going to be. Yeah, like, not I, good. Right. And it'll yeah. be rusty at the And it'll be rusty. And you talk about them just losing to the Clippers. They can't hold on to leads. Listen, number two seed, Home court advantage in every round except for the Eastern Conference Finals, assuming Boston, of course, yep. makes the run, which I think we all agree they're going to, to the Eastern Conference Finals. If you gave me Philly, i slurp that up too. Oh, but I've got, I, I I've it. got, I I I've got revenge that, on yeah. my mind. Yeah. And last year, the Miami Heat knocked me out uh, from a chance to go to the Eastern Conference Finals, and I want to give it back to them. I'm with you. Give me my out. I'm with you on the Heat Smoke. No. I'm ready for all of that. No, I'm for no. All of that. I'm with you, Nicole. No, 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 no. Is You act like we're, we're showing up with a full, healthy roster. Yeah, and also, Eric Spolster is the best coach that, that in the National matter. Basketball Association. Oh. I. Tim's, Tim's against Spolstra. I'm taking Spolstra. Doesn't Spolstra work out well. In a seven-game series? Come on. I'm taking what Spolstra. You? What are you guys afraid of? What? I'm not afraid of the Miami Heat. They're not the Heat. Heat. They're they're not, the heat. This is not the same Bring Heat it. team. This isn't the Heat team that has we, a chance to win a title. Oh, he's out with an elbow. Mitchell I just know. got back. Yeah. We don't have Randall. Yeah. Right now, we're and leaning. We're leaning on uh, Jalen Brunson, who we have to see in the playoffs. Does he have another gear? Can he carry the team like Jimmy B carried Heat like? Just because it says Heat on the jersey doesn't mean they're the the, you know, the late 90s Heat or a championship team, that's an average at best basketball that team. Beat the and Knicks I'm not afraid in court. the playoffs. It's a different team. We're a better team. They're not as good. I want every bit of that smoke. Yeah, I ain't afraid. Players. And if you're afraid, stay on the porch or buy yourself a dog. They were in the All right? last season, Craig. Right? Uh, so what? They weren't what? very good. That's not a good basketball team. They beat team. the Knicks. That's not a good basketball not team. This year. And if you're afraid of them because it says heat year. on the jersey, We're not afraid of heat. then I don't want you in the garden. Are. Stay away from 33rd and 7th, all right? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want the heat. I'm a Knicks fan. Wouldn't you rather play but the Pacers? The easiest road wouldn't you the rather play the Pacers than the Heat? Uh, it's not an option of the Pacers. It's yeah, an option right now yeah, it is. of Philadelphia or Miami. Right. I don't know. If you're the two seed, but if you stay the three seed, then you play the Pacers. Why would I want a lesser seed? I'm about no, you winning. want to win. You want to win. I don't, but... want, I don't want to play games of be the three seed. I want home court advantage. I, whoever seven is, bring it. Bring come it. to me. You come to my house. That's right. You come to my house. <laughs> and like I'm afraid <laughs> of a seventh seed. I'll tell you what. I don't care if it's Philly or Miami. That's a four-game sweep. Get the Mark Jackson brooms back out because we are not losing a game in the first round. Yeah. Bring it on. 
Seven seed. I'm afraid of a seven seed. Yeah, I've see. never been afraid of a Tobias seven seed Harris in my life. When I'm, we we I'm going Very back. I'm going to get a drink we now. Have- hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.